I hope everybody is healthy and safe. So, for today's lesson, we will be discussing one of the important materials to be used in setting up a local area network, and that is Ethernet cable. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain what Ethernet cable is and its function. Differentiate the types of Ethernet cable and familiarize the tools, materials, and color codes to be used as well as the steps to be followed in making Ethernet cable. And now, let's discuss Ethernet cable. An Ethernet cable is a common type of network cable used with wired networks. And it has two types, the straight-through cable and the crossover cable. A straight-through cable is also known as a patch cable. This is used to connect computers and other end-user devices to networking devices such as switches and hubs. A crossover cable is used to connect two computers together without using a switch or hub in between. After knowing the meaning, function, and types of Ethernet cable, let us now discuss the standard color codes used in making Ethernet cable. The two standard color codes that we can use in making Ethernet cable are the T568A and the T568B. So, what is the difference between the two? The T568A color code arrangement is white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, and white, brown, brown. The T568B color code arrangement is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Again, these are the standard color codes that we can use in making Ethernet cable. And now, if you are going to make a straight-through cable, you are going to use either T568A or T568B color code on both ends of your cable. So, meaning to say, both ends of your cable have the same color code. For the crossover, you are going to use the T568A color code on one end of your cable and T568B color code on the other end. Here are the materials to be used in making an Ethernet cable. So we have the uh, UTP cable. This is the most popular and generally the best option for school networks. So we have also the uh, RJ45 connectors. Next is the uh, crimping pool which is used to attach the connector to the cable. And the last one is the basic cable tester which is used to test the cable. Carefully remove the outer jacket of the cable using the wire stripper. Untwist the pairs so they will flat between your fingers. Arrange the wires based on the wiring specifications you are following. Press all the wires flat and parallel between your thumb and forefinger. 
verify the colors have remained in the correct order. Keep the wires flat and in order as you push them into the RJ45 plug with a flat surface of the plug on top. Place the wire plug into the crimping tool. Give the handle a firm squeeze. Repeat all of the above steps with the other end of the cable. After making our Ethernet cable, we are now ready to test it. Now, what is the tool that we are going to use if we are going to test the cable? Yes, you are right. So we are going to use the cable tester to ensure that our cable works properly. Turn on the cable tester. Plug one end of the cable into the receiver jack and the other end into the transmitter jack. Check the lights on the tester. If all pins light up on both ends, the cable is good. If any of the lights do not light up on either end, this indicates a short in the cable. Do not worry if the G light does not light up. This time, let us test the crossover cable. Use the same procedures in testing the cable. Plug in the one end of the cable into the transmitter jack and the other into the receiver jack. So, this is the lights order of a crossover Ethernet cable. The lights on either end flash out of order. And that is how you make Ethernet cable. See, it is very much easy to follow. If you have your own tools and materials in making Ethernet cable, I am encouraging you to please try this. Learning how to make Ethernet cable is really useful and important because you can use this in setting up a local area network or by just networking your computers. Before we end this lesson, I would like you to answer this short quiz to test if you have learned something. Number 1. It is a common type of network cable used with wired networks. A. Coaxial cable B. Ethernet cable C. Fiber optic cable and D power cable. Number two, it is a type of Ethernet cable used to connect computers and other end user devices to networking devices such as hubs and switches. A crossover cable, B crossword cable, C straight through cable and D through straight cable number three which of the following statements is correct a 
A crossover cable is used to connect two computers together without using a switch or hub in between. B. A crossover cable is used to connect two computers together using a switch or hub in between. C. Crossover and straight-through cables have the same color coding. And D. A crossover cable uses fiber optic cable. Number 4. Both ends of a crossover cable have the same color code. A. True. B. False. Number 5. What is the 8 color in the T568A and T568B color code? A. Brown B. Orange C. White brown D. White orange For number 6, what color code of wiring is used in the picture? A. T568A B. T568B C. T658A and D. T658B Number 7 this tool is used to attach the connectors to the cable. A. Crimping tool B. Hammer C. Screw driver and D. Stick glue Which of the following is used to remove the outer jacket of the cable? A. Chainsaw B. Screwdriver C. Lighter D. Wire stripper Number 9. After making the network cable, what will you do to ensure that it will function properly? A. Keep the cable B. Repair the cable C. Test the cable. D. Use the cable. And for number 10, it is a tool used to test the Ethernet cable. A. Cable tester. B. Cable tire. C. Stethoscope. And D. Thermometer. Great learning experience. So that's all for today and see you.